from the Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC meteorologist Kellyanne Class. Well, we had some showers and thunderstorms that moved through yesterday, but now we're going to see changes in the forecast. We're going to get into a ridge of high pressure that will allow for clearing conditions and temperatures to get into the triple digits. That's ahead of another cold front that'll bring back the rain chances and a little bit cooler weather. Outside right now in Lockney, waking up to a nice sunrise this morning and a few clouds outside as well. Not seeing any rain showers across much of West Texas. And in fact, we are going to be clearing those clouds as we head on throughout the rest of the daytime hours. That's thanks to that ridge of high pressure that will continue to build in later on this afternoon, not only clearing our skies, but also allowing for temperatures to reach the triple digits today and tomorrow. And then tomorrow evening, we'll be watching as a cold front slides through, bringing back a few rain chances and dropping our temperatures for the rest of the weekend into the weekend into the mid 90s. We're also going to be watching the tropics as that could bring some rainfall to parts of the Gulf Coast as well, and that could impact us here in the Hub City. Take a look at temperatures right now to start off your morning. Morning. We're into the 60s and a few 70s outside, but it's going to be a hot one because later on this afternoon we're going to top out at about 100 degrees. It's going to be a hot one. You want to make sure you are staying inside throughout most of the daytime hours. And if you do have to be outside all day, just make sure that you are taking breaks indoors. We're going to watch changes though as that cold front slides on through, not only dropping our temperatures, but bringing back the chance for a few showers and thunderstorms tomorrow evening. So around three, four o'clock, maybe an isolated shower up to our north, continuing to become a little bit more widespread by the evening hours tomorrow. It moves off to the east, maybe bringing a lingering shower by the overnight hours tomorrow into early Thursday morning, but for the most part, we will remain dry. We're also going to be watching the tropics as this low pressure system continues to drift to the south and into the Gulf. The National Hurricane Center has about an 80% chance of a tropical storm development over the next five days and really looking like it will hit portions of the Gulf Coast. Now it's not going to hit here in Lubbock or West Texas, but it will bring a lot of uh, drawing of that moisture that we see here right now, so we won't allow for any precipitation to form. And in fact, taking a look at the precipitation outlook over the next six to 10 days, that area form that all golf moisture will see above average precipitation. But since it's drawing our moisture out of West Texas, we're not going to see a lot of rain chances as that system continues to bring a lot of heavy rain into portions of the Gulf Coast. Today, though, we'll keep those dry conditions and a high temperature of 100 degrees. Make sure you are staying indoors. Try to at least all day. Make sure you are drinking a lot of water. Temperature tonight will drop down to about 9 degrees. We'll keep those clear conditions as well. Keep the triple digits into tomorrow. But then, like we said, that cold front will drop into our region tomorrow evening, dropping our temperatures on Thursday back into the mid 90s, about a 10% chance. So we're an isolated chance for some showers and thunderstorms tomorrow evening, maybe a lingering shower on Thursday. But then really, that's our only rain chances as that tropical system continues to ramp up and we're going to see those clearing conditions as well. Yeah, definitely going to be wishing for that rain to cool us down after a couple days of triple digit heat. I think we're all going to be ready for it. I think we all are <laughs> going to be ready for it. Just remember to, I mean, I feel like a broken record. Just stay inside as much as you can. And if you have anything that you need to get, get done today or tomorrow, that includes being outdoors. Try to do it in the early morning hours or the evening hours when it's not that hot. Yeah, always good reminders. Kellyanne, thank you so much.